Last time on the Nerd Room. So let's see what's happening down here. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, well, let's dive in and see exactly how this happened. Oh, I have a feeling it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> oh, that is so much worse than I thought. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy, the Kraken's got the cannon. So the Kraken basically wielded the cannon and shot this guy. Yeah, it was, it was not a pretty picture below deck, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. Yikes, that's a lot of blood. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Return of the Obra Dinn. So, yeah, I decided to actually come back to this series for a couple reasons. Number one, this game came out a few years ago, so if you are watching this, odds are decent that you've seen it already. Reason number two, if you haven't played it and want to play it, you can just not watch this series and then go play it and then come back later. Which I do recommend doing if you do want to play this, because it's a it's a very story-heavy game, and if you watch me play it and have all the secrets revealed, it's not going to be as enjoyable to you. And reason number three, I do not have a lot of disposable income right now, and games cost money, so here we are. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, there is a big old pool of blood at the bottom of these stairs, so... Let's see what, uh, let's see what nasty thing happened down here, huh? Oh, here we go. All right, we found someone already. Let's see what happened to this poor bastard. Oh. Okay, so this guy got shot. Oh, okay. I think I I think I know what happened here. Oh, you what? What in the frick am I looking at right now? What is that? Okay, so I thought the Kraken was bad enough, but now I'm dealing with I don't even what is this? Like a giant spider crab? Ay ay ay, what the heck? So, like, did this guy get shot through the through the door or something? Because if I'm reading the blood spatter right, it came, like, through his back and out his gut. Oh, boy. Okay, this is gonna... This is gonna need a much closer look. Oh, and we got another body somewhere around here. Am I able to get into that other room somehow? Nope. Memory cuts off right there. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Is this the other body? Yup! Oh no! <laughs> and I think I can guess what happened to him if I'm reading those spikes correctly. Ay ay ay! So was that from the, the was that from the giant crab thing? Ugh. I guess we're about to find out. Let's see. Oh, I've got you. Oh, I'll get you down. Oh, oh. Give me that oh. Gun. <coughs> okay. Oh, ay ay ay. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. So, so this guy here that's like grabbing him around the waist, I imagine was trying to help him get off these spikes, and I guess it didn't turn out too well. Oh, jeez. What the frick are these things, though? Like, come on! Oh! Okay! Well, I think I know where those giant spikes came from. Okay, so what would that death fall under? There, I believe impaled was an option. Nope, never mind, it ends at illness. Uh, spiked. Here we go. Oh, and we got yet another body. I guess that answers the question of where this uh, giant pool of blood came from. I believe it was probably a mix uh, of the blood of this monster and this guy here. Oh. 
Oh, I do not like that. Oh, I do not like that sound at all. <laughs> okay, I can't even really tell what's going on here. Is is this the guy who died? Or what? what's happening here? There's, there's, I just, it's just a miasma of, like, blood and death. Jeez Louise, though, like, this is just... Oh, this is just a nightmare. What the heck? This is why I don't like the ocean. Like, we have no idea what the frick's out there. Like, we've explored, like, what, 10% of the ocean? Is that the number? Oh, no, according to the National Ocean Survey, it's a shockingly small percentage. Just 5% of the Earth's oceans. So there's a whole 95% of water out there where some big old beastie could be hiding. And we got yet another body. Oh, two bodies! Okay, two for one special, here we go. <laughs> How the heck did this giant crab even get down here anyhow? Like, I don't I don't see any openings it could have crawled into. It must have come from, like, above deck. All right, well, maybe these two can shed a little more light on the situation. Ay yeah, yeah. the more of these bodies I find, the more questions I got. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. please stop with the creepy monster noises. Oh, okay, okay, ay ay ay, ay. that is, what the frick? There's a person on that. What is this? What are you? Like, is this part of the monster or what is, is this like a sea witch? What are you? Well, whatever it is, they, <laughs> they did a number on these two. Oh, ha ha. Jeez Louise, this story just keeps getting worse and worse. And I don't mean that in that the story itself is bad, I mean that in that the events in the story are just gruesome. Okay, well, their heads weren't missing, so is like, is neck snap? Oh, clawed. Yeah, let's just put them both down as clawed to death for now. Do we have another body? Yes, we do. Hi, yi, yi. <laughs> oh, somebody up there. Okay. Wait, how do I get up there? Where are the, where are the stairs? Ah, here we go. Oh boy, okay, yup, yup, all right. Well, that does answer my question of where they came from. They did in fact come from above deck. Oh boy, another guy who got spiked, all right. Okay, so first they get attacked by a dang kraken and now they're getting invaded by evil crab people or something. What's going on? Stay back, it's already on the neck. Hey. Come on, what boss. the heck no, is that sound? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh dear, that guy's about to get it. Oh no. Oh, that's going straight for his neck. Oh no. Yeah, and this guy's just looking at it like, what the frick? I did not sign up for this. Okay, is there anyone else around here? Maybe someone above deck? Well, if this thing was above deck, I doubt it. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, hey, hey, hi there. Yikes, I did not see you before. Okay. Yeesh, it's a good thing this is only a memory. Oh. He was also spiked. And we have another body. Jeez Louise, freaking party on the Orlop deck. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, here we go. Their first victim, I would wager. Ugh. Jeez, I just saw the claw go through my vision. <laughs> I. I do not like that. Oh. Okay, so this guy got harpooned apparently. So was that like a was that like an accidental throw from somebody trying to kill the crab monster or did the did the crab monster grab the harpoon and then just turn it on him? Oh, jeez, I'm hearing him cough up the blood. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 no! Okay! So, uh... Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, at first I thought that might have been one of the, um... One of the harpoons they would have on the ship, like in case they need to go whaling or something. But no, I guess it was a spear designed by, uh, whatever the heck this thing is, and then... <laughs> and then uh, put to use on this guy's chest. Where the heck did these things even come from? Like, 
What the heck? <laughs> Let's see, is harpooned... No, harpooned isn't an option, but speared is. And we got yet another freaking body. Probably that poor bastard right there, yup. Oh! Oh! What the heck? Okay, what the heck? Okay, now people are getting struck by lightning. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the lightning hit him pretty early on, like before these crab monsters or whatever they are boarded the ship. Do we have another body? Okay, no, that that is the end of this trail of corpses, thank goodness. All right, well, let's get out of this memory for now and see if we can find another, uh, another trail that can give us some more information. Can we find any information down here? That's locked, so that's a no-go. Oh. Okay, this looks important. Wait, is that just a leg? Or rather, part of a leg? Yeah, I think that's like a shoe, and then those are like the two shin bones. Oh, no. <laughs> so what happened to this guy now? Keep pressure here. Ooh. Yep. Yep. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. Okay, so... All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Okay, John. So the guy who lost his leg is named John. Okay, so that, that does give us some actual, like, uh, information then about the guy who lost his leg. His name is John, so we can most likely identify this guy. Hopefully, at least anyway, because John is a really freaking common name. But also, I want to quickly look up uh, what the heck a lazarette is, because that's the second time I've heard that word. Okay, a small compartment below the deck in the after end of a vessel used for stores. Okay, so it's just a storage compartment at the back of the ship. So we got John Davies. Any other Johns here? Oh yeah, we also got John Naples. Okay, yeah, so we got so we got two options here. So I'm guessing by the way this guy's dressed, let me see. I think the I think the first John we saw on the list was like third mate or something like that. Yeah, fourth mate, actually. So I feel like you would have a slightly fancier uniform. So I believe that the guy we're looking at now is probably John Naples. So yeah, we'll put that down. And what would be the cause of death here? Would uh, bled out isn't an option. Or maybe just expired? Oh no, from old age. It, it definitely wasn't from old age. Hmm. I have no idea. All right, well, I'm at least fairly confident that I got his, uh, his name, uh, accurately, uh, jotted down in the book. So yeah, we'll move on and see what else we can find. Oh, this guy. All right. So what happened to you? Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay, well, that answers that. What even is this thing? Is this like a, uh, a, uh, stretcher or something that you would use to carry... Oh yeah, he's carrying a, a giant fish. At least I think that's a fish. Regardless of what it is, it was apparently heavy enough that when this guy tripped, he fell forward and got his neck crushed between the, uh, the beam of this thing and the barrel. I don't think we can identify this guy because all we got from that, uh, all we got from that scene was a bunch of sounds, mainly of him falling and then his vertebrae shattering. But let's see, is broken neck an option for his, uh, his fate? Fell. That's a good option. Fell overboard, rigging... Yeah, let's put he fell down the, the stairs for now, and, like, I don't think I have any better options than that. Yeah, no. Yeah, we'll just keep him as he fell down the stairs for now. Oh, there was apparently a guy dead right here. Well, what happened to you? What's your foot in? Hey there, what's this? Oh. 
Give him the tea and I can prize a solid meal, boys. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a free shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. Oh, what the frick? Oh, oh, okay, okay, got it. So, okay. At first, I thought they were transporting a, like, a human body, and this guy is saying, Hey, give them to me and I'll whip us up a meal. I thought they were resorting to cannibalism, but no, they're talking about this, uh, whatever the heck this fish is. Like, jeez. What the heck kind of fish has, like, spikes running down its back like that? Jeez, like, this is just me, but I feel like it might have been smarter just to wait for this fish to die before transporting it, because... Evidently, this fish has enough oomph in its tail to just kill someone. Maybe struck? Struck by... Yeah, struck by a tail. All right. Like, I might have to at some point just look up all the different, like, um... All the different, like, jobs and everything on a ship so that I can maybe, based on what these guys are doing, try and identify them. But until then, I'll just keep trying to follow this trail of bodies. So who's next on the chopping block? Oh boy, okay, another two-for-one special. Here we go. Lift this out and yeah. What the hell is going on? Yeah. What do you know about yeah. these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This me. Oh. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's Chinese. Yeah. Very dangerous. Shell? What shell? Ooh! What the heck? Oh! Oh, okay! So... Oh! So, so whatever the heck this fish is, it, it can also launch its spikes like those giant crabs. Jeez, these guys are finding all sorts of monsters on this voyage. Okay, so they were spiked, and I believe the I believe that uh, monster got a collateral and also spiked this guy. And we got another body. Let's see. Ooh, here we go. Oh, what's going on? Okay, yeah, I still don't know. Okay, I saw it, like, ticking in those X's before. I still don't know what that means. Is it, like, number of bodies correctly or incorrectly identified? Because, yeah, in another chapter was, like, XX and then, like, a couple dashes. Maybe I should actually quickly flip through the book, because I know for a fact I got at least three of them, like, locked in as, like, yes, this is definitely who they are and how they died. So maybe I could look in that chapter and try and deduce, uh, deduce what the... X's mean. Ahoy! Hell back! Give the captain! Ahoy! Come on, the boy! Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! Oh boy! Okay, apparently someone didn't catch that. What the heck? Hey, yeah, this guy right here. Come on, dude! Okay, he's got a. Wait a minute! That's got arm. Is this a mermaid? Those are very clearly arms. What the heck? Yeah, did they find mer people? Jeez Louise, how... <laughs> how many more mythical creatures is the Obra Dinn going to find? Okay, and we got another body. Let's see. Oh. Okay, there was also a human on this little lifeboat. This limb. Okay. So another guy from China, if I'm reading the characters correctly. Wait, what happened to him? I can't even tell. Oh boy. Okay, well here he is dragging out the mermaids or whatever the heck they are. But I can't tell what happened to this guy. Like, was he spiked? Can I go around the side of the lifeboat and get a better... I cannot. Okay. Like, I kind of see like a blurry white thing kind of like poking out of his chest, so did he... No, he wouldn't have burned, right? Even if that is fire, that's way too little for it to be that lethal, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a paramedic, so I don't know. <laughs> this guy's gonna be tough to identify because if I'm reading the situation correctly, it looks like he didn't 
start out on the ship. Or maybe this guy, or maybe these guys, like, went out to sea on the lifeboats and came back. But him saying, like, I yield, I have treasure, makes it sound like the crew didn't recognize him. Okay, is this one of the... Oh no, that's, a... no, this is human. This is a human. Okay, so what happened to you now? I have it. Hold on. What the frick? What the heck is this now? What the what what the heck is is that Pandora's box? What the frick is going on here? This just keeps getting more and more confusing. Like what the like is it coming are these beams coming out of the box or going into the box? Like did the did this box suck out these monsters' souls or what? Wait, does this mer does this mermaid have something on its back? I kind of see like a a spherical object that's kind of like glowing. Not that that helps me much. <laughs> okay. So, so is this Miss Lim? Is this who the other, the, the last guy was talking about? Okay, so yeah, I don't think I see anyone else on here with the name, with Lim in their name. So this can really only be Bunlan Lim. As for how they died, I haven't the foggiest. Like, I don't even know what was going on with, like, <laughs> these beams of light. Like, what the heck is this? Oh, here we go. There's another guy on these lifeboats. Oh, Hagen. You still breathing? Oh, Hagen. Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake. Oh. Okay, what just happened? Okay, that's one of the mer people. Oh, okay, that answers that. Is this the guy whose body I just found? <laughs> like the guy who was like slumped over the side of the boat? Uh-oh. Oh no. Well, that guy's screwed. Oh, and uh, and uh, Miss Lim is not looking so hot herself either. Oh no. And again though, there is definitely something on this mermaid's back. Like you can see like the light shining off of it. Do the, do the others have the same thing? No, they do not. Okay. So whoever that mermaid is, she is, like, important, I guess. Okay, so if the guy with the spear in his chest is the guy whose body I just found, that means he was, obviously, uh, speared by an enemy, maybe? Or maybe just put down as an unknown attacker, because I don't know how to identify these mer people. Let's look around the scene of the of the crime for a little bit and see. Oh. Okay, okay. Never mind. That so that helps me. So the guy whose body was speared over there, oh no, not him. The guy you're uh, the guy you're attacking. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. We can come back to this scene after, but I now know that the dude I just put down as speared isn't actually the right guy. Keep rowing. Dang, okay. Oh! All right then. Oh no! Jeez, so he got a he got a a mermaid spear straight through the neck. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, and whoever this guy is, he uh he was a uh, prisoner or at the very least had to be uh, restrained. Oh dear. So what the heck is this giant box back here? Cuz whatever it is, it's got these mermaids all in a tizzy. Okay, well I can go ahead and shot down that they were speared by an unknown attacker at the moment. Who's next? This guy, right? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Now we can find out, uh, now we can actually put the correct, uh, body to the original spearing. Keep course due east. You'll reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! Be one swabble! Oh, 
Oh, yep, yep, they do talk about monsters, and, uh, they showed up right on cue. Oh, no. So these guys are en route to the Canary Islands, then. And, uh, I guess the monsters are trying to retrieve this chest here? Jeez Louise, there are so many freaking questions I gotta answer. Ay -ay -ay. So yeah, we can correctly put down that that guy was speared, and we still don't know by who. So yeah, them talking about, uh, that they would stand no chance against the Obra Dinn. Were these guys just, did these guys just, like, jump ship to try and escape? Alright, well, I think I have time to go down maybe one more, uh, one more trail, so... I'll search around below deck again and see. Oh yeah, and I might as well also quickly check if my uh, intuition is correct about those X's and dashes. Ah, here we go. Perished in the end part four. Am I able to... Yep, perfect. There we go. Nope, it doesn't look like that's the case. Because yeah, here's the... Here's uh, William Huskett. Here's the captain. And yeah, that's, that's it for that chapter. If what I was thinking of before is correct, i.e. the... Dashes being a uh, check mark, then there would be two dashes there, but that's not the case. Oh wait, maybe I can check the uh, the glossary. Captain mate. Oh, oh. Okay, cool. Okay, so no, I don't have to actually. I don't have to actually look up what the heck the different positions on the ship are because they already have definitions for me right here. Okay, well that's convenient. Unfortunately, this glossary doesn't tell me uh, what the heck those X's and dashes mean. Oh boy. Pfft. Okay. Wait. Wait. I can check the. I can check the fate of the crab monster. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Please stop with the creepy monster sounds. Uh, that's sending a freaking shiver down my spine. Ooh, frick. Well, that guy certainly went down swinging. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that gun. That's a freaking blunderbuss. This guy looks like he took, ooh, a fair bit of damage. He got got hit, when, uh, hit in the shoulder by one of the legs, right in the chest by that spear. And I think that other leg there kind of missed him, kind of went like, underneath his arm. Even still though, getting speared in two places on your torso, probably not great for your uh, long-term health. Oh yeah, a hideous monster perished simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. Okay, so both him and the monster died in that exchange. I guess I would put down Claude maybe? Or would that fall under speared or spiked? You know, I'll work on the details after. For now, we'll just, uh, keep going down this trail. Oh, never mind, that's the end of this trail. Okay. <laughs> okay, and here's the door. All right. Well, helped a little bit, I guess. Gave us that tiny little tidbit of information extra. And it's gonna add more X's and dashes. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> like, is that supposed to give me some information here? Maybe I'll quickly look it up, because it's... Quite possible that I might have missed a tutorial. Oh. Okay. Okay, so apparently an X is for a crew member who had a death flashback for that chapter, and every dash is a symbol for a crewman who disappeared in that chapter. So here, if we quickly go back to the uh to the manifest and then jump to the uh jump to the memory where the captain was in, we can actually just count it out. So there should be one, two, three, four, four death flashbacks. Okay, perfect. We now have that information. All right, well, I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of deductions to try and make here. There's probably another trail of corpses somewhere, but I think we'll worry about that in the next part. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!